welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today I am sharing with you all my weekend cleaning routine and just bringing you along as I prepare for the week ahead. So today is Saturday, so I'm going to be doing a little bit today and then a little bit tomorrow just to break it up into two days so I don't have to spend one full day doing all of the things. So I hope that you enjoy today's video and let's get started. Today's video is also extra special because I'm collabing with my friend Monica. She is a working mama to three beautiful girls and a wife. She shares lots of organizing, cleaning, and motherhood videos. So I would love it if you would subscribe to her channel and go watch her cleaning routine that she is also sharing today. I will have everything linked down below and let her know that I sent you. So this is my to-do list for the weekend and a list just really helped to keep me on track. So I'm starting off with a load of laundry. It was actually like three loads that I ended up doing and I didn't even get to folding it. I usually don't. I'm so bad about that. I need to get better. I folded it the next day. Sometimes I'll even fold it like two days later, which is so bad. But at least I got those loads of laundry in. And I'm just really trying to establish a really good weekend routine because I'm going back to work and I'm just not going to have as much time as I did during the week in the summer. So I really need to make sure I'm getting as much done as I can during the weekend. So I'm just dusting everything off here. I'm using the Swiffer duster and then I have the little Swiffer duster with the extension to do high places like the ceiling fan and then after dusting then that's when I will vacuum. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down and vacuuming the stairs is definitely a weekend only job because it is not my favorite. Okay, for my makeup girls, don't forget to wash your brushes sometime during the weekend, at least once a week. I like to do it on the weekends. So I got this little mat and it came with this little brush shampoo and I got it off Amazon. I will link it below for you girls. So I try to wash my brushes at least once a week. So I'll do that for the weekend and then I'll let them dry on this little towel. So I'm going to do that. Let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down. I and you can see all that makeup come off. So I actually didn't wash them last weekend, so there was a little bit more than usual. And sometimes when I am just rushing or don't have a lot of time, I'll even just take this in the shower and do it. That's why I really like this little mat. I think it works very well. And it's just good to always have them nice and clean. It just helps keep the brushes nice. It helps apply your makeup better, and it's just better for your skin. Even if the sky is falling down And now they're all clean and I will let them dry and they'll be ready for the week. And then I'm just moving on to cleaning out our fridge. So we were actually going to go grocery shopping later that day. So I always like to clean out before I'm going to go grocery shopping. And then when I have a little bit more time or on the weekends, I'll actually like wipe everything down. I'll take everything out. I'll even do the drawers and then just kind of see you can get rid of food that has expired or kind of bring food that you haven't been eating up to the front. So I really wanted to do that. That way I can see what we were going to cook for during the week. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. So I'm just 
just going to meal plan for the week and we've done a lot of these HelloFresh meal kits in the past so I'm just going to pick out a few of our favorites and try to recreate them. I'm just making a list of all the ingredients that we'll need so I can pick that up in the grocery store. So this is what we will be doing for dinner and since we're both just working from home, we're going to do pretty easy lunches and breakfast meals so the only thing that I am going to meal prep for the week are some snacks and I will show you that in a second alright guys I'm going to meal prep some snacks for the week and it's super simple it's just a chia seed pudding so I'm just using chia seed I got this one from Costco some unsweetened almond milk some cinnamon and then I'm gonna make them in these little jars and then tomorrow I'll be adding some fruit so you can add any fruit I'm just gonna add some blueberries but I'll show you that step tomorrow but today I'm just going to meal prep them into the little jar because the chia seeds they have to like expand so you need to give them about a night to just have them in the jars before I set them out into the container so let me show you how to do that so in each jar, I just do eight tablespoons of chia seeds and then I put in some cinnamon and then the almond milk. I really love cinnamon, so I put a lot of it, but you can put as much as you want. And if you want it a little bit more sweet, you can add some honey or some vanilla extract. I really like just doing the cinnamon and then having the fruit give um, a little bit more of the sweetness to the pudding. But like I said, you need to shake it really good or stir it really good, shake it, and then leave it um, through the night just so it gets that thick pudding consistency. And I just wanted to share with you all this a huge gallon water bottle. It's really been helping me stay on track with drinking water. I love that it has the times and little words, so I will link that below for you guys. And then now it was super late, I was super tired, but I did go to Bath & Body Works the day before, so I wanted to share that little haul with you all. It is the evening now, and I feel like I look tired. But really quickly, I just wanted to share a Bath & Body Works haul. It's a super small haul. I went to Bath & Body Works yesterday, and I just got a bunch of fall stuff. So I just wanted to share that it'd be fun to just do a little haul super quick. So I got some candles. I got the leaves candle. It smells so good. It's my favorite scent um, for fall from Bath & Body Works. It just truly smells like fall. And the packaging is really pretty. It's like super neutral and it just has really pretty leaves. So I really, really always make sure I pick up one of these for fall. And then I got another one. I usually don't like scents that smell like food. Like I don't really like the waffles and cupcake smells and if it's too sweet, I don't really like it. But this one I really like and it's food. It is the pumpkin apple. The color is just so pretty. I don't even know, it's like a dark mauve maroonish color. I don't know, but it smells so good. I really, really like it and the colors. So I'm just not crazy about the super colorful and like big wording um packaging like if it has like pictures i don't know i really like when just things look a little bit more simple and when the colors are just really pretty i think it just looks really pretty and classy and i really really liked the packaging of these and then i also got some of the little ones the little candles because these were two for 20 and i usually like to have um these in my guest bathroom so again i got the leaves scent and then i also got frozen lake and this one smells so good it smells like christmas so this one is definitely for after fall and just smells so so good so i got those four candles and then i got some soap i got this one harvest gathering it smells so good. I loved it when I smelled it at the store. Ah, just like fall. It kind of smells like apples or cranberries. Yeah. It says fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. 
it smells really, really, really good. Super like fall. I got this one. I got it last year. I still had it, but they had this one um, still at the stores this year. It's the white coconut caramel. I don't know. When I smelled it at the store, I wasn't crazy about it, honestly. It smelled really caramelly, but okay. I can kind of smell more of the coconut. It smells pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good. Pretty festive and fall -like. I'm just so excited. I'm seeing just all the fall stuff out, and I'm so excited about all the fall scents. So I hope that you are getting excited too. I'm probably going to stop filming for today, and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello again, today is Sunday, so I'm just going to continue doing all of the things and finish up my to-do list for the weekend, so let's keep on going. We've been on and off again and again. Alright, Sundays is definitely the day that I wash all of our bedding. There is nothing better than going to sleep at night with fresh, clean bedding. So I just love doing that on Sundays. So you just start off the week on such a good note. And then I also wash all the blankets around our home. I love having blankets, just being cozy on the couch. I just have blankets everywhere. So I had some downstairs as well. So I just wash all of the blankets on the weekends. That way they're nice and fresh for the week. For it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed And now I'm just cleaning our upstairs bathroom There was just a mess, I don't know how things get messy so quickly But they do, and I did a little Sephora shopping earlier in the week So I'm just putting away all the stuff that I bought And then I moved on to downstairs it was super messy. We just had dishes from breakfast and lunch. So I am just picking all of that up. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me sun. I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments what your favorite chore to do or your least favorite chore to do is because I actually enjoy doing the dishes. I don't mind it. I don't really like folding laundry. That's probably my least favorite. So I'm just curious to know what you guys enjoy doing and what you guys don't. So I'm just wiping everything down and I'm using this Method All Purpose Cleaner. I've been trying to look for the Mrs. Myers Fall Scents um, cleaner, but every time I go, they always are either out or I don't know if they even have come out with the fall scents but i will definitely keep looking and here's a little preview of some fall decor i am so excited to share my fall decor haul with you guys next week be on the lookout for that i'm going to be collabing with one of my youtube girlfriends so i'm so excited for that so now i'm showing you the next day that the pudding had time to sit in the fridge now it has a thicker consistency I mean if you have a thing with like weird textures with food this might not be the pudding for you but it's just such a healthy snack and so easy to do so I've just have really been trying to eat really healthy so this is definitely an easy and healthy snack So now I'm just cleaning the bathroom downstairs and then I will get to mopping and then clean the bathroom upstairs and then the last thing I'll be doing is folding that load of laundry. Actually it was like a couple loads of laundry that I did the day before and I really like this mop and it's just so funny like this is adult life when you get excited over a mop but I really like it so I just mopped everything and then like I said I just finished cleaning the bathrooms and then folded some clothes
And if you guys have glass doors for your shower, I would really love it if you can tell me a really good way to clean them. I'm just using Windex and a magic eraser and it works pretty well but it's not the best so if you have anything that works super good, please please let me know, I would really appreciate it. And I really hope that you guys got a ton of weekend motivation and I hope that you tackle your weekend to-do list. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe. And don't forget to check out my friend Monica's video and subscribe to her channel. And I will see you guys next time.